Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another video. And today at Gamescom, they just announced a new Borderlands title coming out very, very soon. And it is known as New Tales from the Borderlands. Now, if you guys have ever played a Telltales game in the past, this game follows the same kind of point and click, you know, choose your own adventure concept. And this game is actually developed by Gearbox and 2K. Basically, it plays the same way as the first Tales from the Borderlands, except by the looks of it from the trailer, it looks like it's taking place during Borderlands 3's story or after the events of Borderlands 3. We don't have the complete picture yet, but the timeline does match up. If it is like the first Tales game, which is canon by the way, then this could be a lot of story-driven content that will bridge the gap into the next game that could be Borderlands 4. Alright, what's going on in the trailer? Going off of the press release information right here, it will involve the underdog story of three lovable losers. You have the scientist Anu and her ambitious streetwise brother Octavio, and the fierce brogard slinging Fran. With nothing left to lose and everything to gain, you will claw and con your way through a thrilling five-part story. So, my guess right here is that we are going to get the first part when the game first comes out, and then the other four parts of the story will unlock later on. Now for the big reveal, in this trailer we are seen taking on the Tidor Corporation, and it is likely the CEO for Tidor is going to be this lady right here known as Susan. She has a whole army at her disposal, and of course the return of the loving uh, Guns With Legs. I love this. Now, what is the reason why Tidor is here and invading Promethea? Well, just like most of the previous titles, the corporations always want to get to the vault. There is likely a fortune inside, and that's probably what they're after. Obviously, the citizens of Promethea aren't going to be happy about Tidor invading, and that is why Atlas steps in and the CEO of Atlas, known as Reese, uh, will be fighting Tidor off to protect their home. Now, as Atlas and Tidor are fighting off, on the side story we have our three lovable losers, which is going to be the part we're playing in this game. Um, we don't know their whole entire story, but we know they team up with somebody known as Stapleface, as well as a new robot known as Lou. Now, for exactly what Lou is, um, I'm guessing an Atlas robot, but it's hard to tell at this point in time, so I'm sure we'll get more information on that when the game comes out. In the trailer, the three do make it to the vault, and lo and behold, there's another vault monster. Um, and the monster in the vault is released, and you can see them running away and trying to survive. And that is all the story I could pick out of the trailer, and I'm sure we're gonna, you know, defeat this vault monster at some point, or, you know, get a reward. I mean, it's bound to happen, this is a Borderlands title, and we always get a reward. Alright, moving on here, we're gonna review the trailer and go over all these small things you might have missed. And surprisingly, there's a lot of small things in this trailer that are easy to overlook. We do know that the bandits are back. In fact, in the press release information, they're not called, uh, Children of the Vault anymore, they're called Bandits. And we do know that the Children of the Vault are gone now because, you know, the Clipsa Twins are dead. So, I guess they went back to the original name of Bandits. So, they will likely be a side threat to the story as we defend ourselves from Tidor. Like I mentioned before, one of the three tagging along for the story is known as Fran, and she runs a Frogert place known as Fran's Frogerts. That might sound very familiar, and that is because in Borderlands 3 this place was destroyed. If you recall, the Malamon CEO known as Katagawa, he sort of shot a giant laser at Fran's Frogerts to destroy it and get back at Reese. We do know the trio does cross paths with Tidor, as well as Tidor soldiers making it to the vault, and I guess the Guardian Spectres are back. Guardians are known for defending the vault, and if Tidor is invading, then that is probably why they're fighting them. Right here we see Anu going towards the Meridian City Morgue, and sad to say, Dr. Zed is not back yet, but we have this new lady. As for who she is, I have no idea. In this scene, we see Anu and Stapleface running away from a horde of bandits, but right before the scene, we can see Anu crashing a car into the bandits and actually saving Stapleface. I'm fairly confident to say that she's an ally, because I mean, you just saved her life, right? Who knows for sure though, maybe the story unfolds differently. And Anu has shrunken heads, possibly, on her waist. Uh, they could be shrunken heads, they could be dolls, we'll have to wait and see on that. Kind of interesting, and I'm curious to know her backstory. She does have that bandit look to her, but maybe she's just somebody trying to survive in the wilderness of Promethea. I don't know. And the final part I want to bring up is this figurine battle. I don't know exactly what this is all about, but maybe it's a mini game. But we do know that if you pre-order the game, you get an endgame Black Vault Lander collectible. And that could be what we're seeing here. Considering you get a black one for pre-ordering, and we see a Zane one in the trailer, maybe there's other ones to find. And then you take them into battle, and I guess you beat the crap out of each other until profit? I don't know. Anyways, I do think that's everything I want to talk about for this trailer. And I gotta say, the story does look pretty good, and I'm pretty excited for it. So let me know below in the comments what you guys think about the new Tales from the Borderlands game. Oh, one thing I should have mentioned way earlier is it will not be an epic exclusive game. It drops on October 21st of this year on Xbox Series X and S. Xbox One, a PlayStation 5, a PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, PC on Steam, and Epic Games. So, on release day, it's available everywhere. The Standard Edition, which is digital only, will cost 40 bucks, and the Deluxe Edition will be a digital and physical version of it for 50 bucks. and it will also include the first Tales from the Borderlands game, which came out quite a few years ago. 
I think that's everything, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome, and if you guys really enjoyed it and want to see more Borderlands content, then be sure to drop a sub. And yeah, you guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.